Hello there, welcome to the Benia UK Limited and Haygate Test Bakery. Um, Benia, a company that can offer you anything for craft bakers or semi-industrial bakers in equipment terms from mixing machines through to proving, finally through to baking. Um, we've got a full range of baking ovens. Um, today I'm just going to demonstrate some simple products. Uh, I've implemented some bread overnight um, and then I'm going to go on to some puff pastry products, we'll bake them off and you can see how the oven works. Um, I'll go through the features and benefits as I progress. So first of all, I'm just going to finish off the dough that I've been producing. I've got some in the fruit already. I'm just going to make some flats and some cheese rolls and uh, eventually move on to some other products later on. But just to let you know that the main oven we'll be using today will be the deck oven, which is, uh, you can see behind me, is a modular deck oven. Uh, you can have anything from one to five decks high. You can buy one deck and then as your business grows you can add to it as your business develops. The benefits of it are is that it's a solid heat, so you can bake almost anything in it if you want to do. It's the type of oven I used to use in my business. Um, we used to bake everything really from cakes, bread, to cooked meats, um, pastries. Uh, so versatile over almost anything else that's available in the market. The type of oven I'll be using today is a Spavard Island deck oven, which is supplied by Benier. Okay, just to finish off this bread dough, let's connect some cheese rolls. Basically, so it's just a straight bread dough, there's only four ingredients in this. And flour, Haygate's flour of course, yeast, salt and water. So and it's been fermented overnight, give it loads of flavour, get a nice crust with it. And uh, once it's ready, you can make virtually anything you want from it. And the difference is uh, we're not using any additional ingredients. So this is a natural way to make bread. to uh, have some nice flavour uh, when it's all finished. So I've used a strong Canadian wheat flour in this bread, which uh, hopefully should give a really nice result. cheese on the top and then the baked and finished. So that's the cheese roll, so basically these are just going to go into the prover, double in size, bit of cheese on the top, baked in the deck oven with steam. It's a really nice product, so I'm finished. Okay, so I'm using uh, some puff pastry which has been pre-rolled, um, purchased uh, as you can buy it modern day. So it's uh, Commercially, commercial progression, shall I say? In uh, you spend hours making puff pastry, but this is all ready for you. And what I've done is I've cut these into six on one side and four on the short side, so I've got pretty equal squares. And now I'm going to just put some tomato sauce on there. Cheese on the top and then a bit of bacon. 
beauty of this oven is uh, it's got top and bottom heat so I can adjust the temperature on the bottom or the top, whatever I'm baking. If I'm baking through a tin I can put a higher temperature on the base and then lower temperature to balance it out on the top to give us a perfect bake. You can also, with it being modular, you're actually looking at four separate ovens on top of each other on this particular model. So each deck can have something different in it, baking as well. So here we've just got some pâté and some pastry that uh, to roll up and get an egg wash. And it's a nice bordeaux, or you can use cheese or cheese and ham, different types of pâté. There we've got a nice pate oil which will be baked and then it can be displayed on the tray. Okay, so what I'm going to do with these, I've got 24 squares, so I'm just going to make some baskets which will be baked and then, so it's just a question of egg washing them over. So I've cut them from one corner to the other. So basically, we have a nice basket there. So, I've got some squares here. Just cut this into 15 squares, so they're slightly larger. Just place some fruit in the centre. Push it down at the back. And we've got the start of an Echo's Cake type shape. So, just pin these out, the reason we put them in a the stack. And the reason being that then you can push them around and they all end up, hopefully, the same sort of size. Just to wash, dip in sugar, and they're ready for baking. Right, so this is something I made up myself really from uh, spin off from someone else's recipe but basically this is just sweet pastry and it's generally about two parts to one and I've got some marzipan which I've mixed down just with a little bit of water you don't have to do that because you can chop it in neat as it is basically it doesn't look very pretty but you're a real top seller and then all we do Similar to a rock cake, if anyone can remember rock cakes, you make from a scone mix. Press that down on the tray. You can use anything inside. This is jam. You can use minced meat, lemon curd. So we we'll start to bake these products now. So this oven is basically what we call three trays wide, a DC3. It's got stone tiles, uh, it's high crown for larger breads, uh, there's three decks for the bakers, and then we've got a top deck which is a high temperature resolution which we use for pizzas. So it's really versatile. Garland C Series electric rack oven. Um, the advantages of this really are that you can bake in mass, you can prove in a rack, you don't have to handball it if you like into a deck oven and handball it out. You just wheel it in and it bakes the whole lot. The benefits to this particular oven over a deck oven is you can steam, you can get a lovely crusty loaf, but it has got some drawbacks in that it's not great for cake, you can bake cake in it, but a deck oven is more versatile all round. But if you've got a high production bakery where you want to produce such thing as French sticks, great for pastries, pies, that sort of thing, then the rack oven is probably the choice if um, you need to um, just ease on the labour side of it and the lifting. Basically it's got steam injection, uh, accurate temperature settings, the rotation helps with the baking, 
So all the old Okay, so beauty of a rack oven, nice even bake right the way through. Beautiful got up, steam, crusty bread, perfect. Again, not great for cakes, but superb. Crusty breads, pies, pastries, that sort of thing. Excellent. Okay, so these are the products we've done just this morning, just to show you what can be done on a good set of ovens between the rack oven and the deck oven. A variety of products um, to produce what would be a very nice shop window. Favourite dollar, deck oven and rack oven. Mm -hmm.